Good morning, Minister, distinguished guests. It's my pleasure and privilege to welcome you to the first conference on air connectivity development for Cyprus through change cooperation and innovation. I'm very pleased that this conference has been supported from its conceptual stage by the Minister of Communications and Works and would like to thank Minister, Mr. Tassos Misopoulos, for this. Let me start by giving you a sense of what airports bring to a country like Cyprus by briefly sharing with you the results of a recent economic impact study performed by PricewaterhouseCoopers for Hermes Airports. The Cyprus Gateway Airports, Larnaca and Paphos International Airports contribute some 500 million euros annually to the economy of the island through direct, indirect and induced benefits. This was equal to 2.9% of the country's GDP in 2012. Some 12,700 jobs were generated by this activity surrounding the airport. 4,900, that's better, 4,900 of those at the airport themselves. The government receives about 125 million euros in direct tax benefit through these operations. An interesting way to look at the benefits of air service connectivity at airports in Cyprus terms would be an additional year-round 737 or an A320 provides 2.7 million euros annually uh, and supports about 100 jobs. If you move up to a B747 daily service annually, it would generate 6.8 million euros and support about 250 jobs. So it's material. Tourism is important. Cyprus itself is a gem with the potential of year-round, uh, the potential of a year-round product, a product that is heavily promoted and used in the summer season a product that is now receiving stronger attention in the winter months. Overall, visitors to Cyprus represent some 11% of GDP, or just under 2 billion euros annually. A single visitor to Cyprus contributes about 780 <coughs> euros, of which 140 euros of that is tax. For every 1,000 visitors, about 20 jobs are supported. Over the next five years, with further liberalization of the skies, an open for business year-round tourism product, stronger industry coordination, and much improved air service connectivity, there's no reason why visitor traffic to Cyprus cannot grow and materially grow the country's GDP. If we were to target just 1% of the population within four hours flying time from Cyprus, that is a potential 10 million visitors. If we succeeded in just attracting 20% of that, we'd add two million visitors per year to Cyprus. So there it is, the target. By the end of 2018, add two million visitors to Cyprus, increasing visitor contribution to the GDP by 1.6 billion per year and 280 million or so in government taxes. Revenue, we'll call it revenue, sorry. Of course, in order to achieve such an audacious goal, we need to work hard. We need to work smart and we need to work together. We already have a beautiful island country, rich in culture and history. It is modern, safe, stable, and possesses an extraordinarily warm and welcoming atmosphere. We have a strong and vibrant tourism season with well branded, uh, as well branded as a sun and sea destination. Collectively, we need to get behind a national tourism strategy and strengthen the year round Cyprus tourism market and its product. Clearly, opening up new markets and growing existing markets is important. Further liberalization of the skies to all markets would be helpful, as would an open skies policy statement. The easing of entering and exiting the country goes some ways towards encouraging people to choose Cyprus as a destination. Make it easy and as seamless as possible. Let's get on with the construction and the opening of a destination casino resort. It's simply too big of an opportunity to miss. And we need to ensure strong air service connectivity is in place year-round and select the right airline and tour operator partners for the future. We know that it'll take the collective efforts of everyone to meet these challenges. We think the country's ready to meet the challenges. We think the government is ready to meet the challenges. We think industry and stakeholders are ready to meet these challenges. And I know that Hermes Airports is ready to meet these challenges. In closing, I'd like to thank the presenters and the panel experts, along with all of you for your involvement today. Thank you.